All right, friends, this week we're going to read the book Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoot shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa they hold the jungle dance where every jungle animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The, wart the warthog started waltzing, the rhinos rock and rolled, the lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha-cha with a very Latin feel and ate baboons, then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. That's not very nice. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. The right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor, and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and all alone. Then he found a little clearing, and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the trees. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and he picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying, and his tail was swishing around. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. It's pretty impressive. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him, quite entranced. They shouted, It's a miracle! We must be in a dream! Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen! How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We can all dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. It's one of my favorites because it shows that you can dance to any song. You just have to find a song that you enjoy that's your song. And that could look different for everybody. So this week, I want to challenge you to find your song. Um, a song that you enjoy that you can dance to. And if you're having trouble um, finding inspiration, can go outside and just listen to the sounds around you. For example, I'm outside on my porch and I can hear the birds chirping very loudly. I can hear uh, my neighbors mowing, um, just a lot of different sounds.
sounds. So once you find your song, I would love for you to dance to it. And if you would like to share your dance, you can do so. And I would love to see it. So tag me at Mr. Mullins Sings on Twitter. Or you can send it to my email. And that's on the school's website. Bye.